Hey everybody, we're back. The Johnny Cage here. We're playing Lufia 2. We are in the fourth floor of this ancient tower, and there's a red snake over there. And he's attacking us! Oh, it's a spinner! Brand new enemy! Look at that snake! Isn't that no? That's a snake! Those Earth Vipers don't have nothing on that guy. Still got Beaver out there, my angel, being all angel-like, being like, holy angel stuff! Something like that. I assume that's just what angels do. I might be wrong, but I'm Johnny the Fighter, and I'm pretty much right about everything. So, there you go. That's what angels do. Let's see here. Uh, in the last room that we were in before we stopped the video last time, I got a bunch of new items, uh, including rings and jewels. So, let's take a look, because I haven't really updated these uh, the rings and the jewels very much. When you just hit strongest on the equip screen, the screen? <laughs> yeah, screen. That one, no, that's terrible. Uh, on the equip, on the equipment screen. Um, I keep messing it up now. Um, he doesn't equip the best, strongest rings or rocks, so you have to do that manually. But, uh, that makes sense, because there's a lot of just preference in picking the rings and the rocks. Uh, if you want to make your guy, like I made, uh, myself, Johnny, more, uh, attack-oriented. Um, you know, some other guys might need help other places. Decker, he can use help, uh, pretty much everywhere, all in all. I mean, there's nothing I can give him that's gonna be bad. I love how in the American release, for some reason, it doesn't delete the excess letters of what you previously had equipped. I don't know why it does that. It's just kind of weird. I, you'd think they would have been able to fix something like that, but, uh, I don't know, because I hear in the European and the Japanese version, it doesn't do that, so, whatever. One of those crazy American things. Uh, back into the ancient tower we go, uh, as we're gonna go along the other way in this crazy warp room panel now. Whoa, whoa, you have successfully warped. Oh yeah, it's that Star Trek warp core technology. Well, actually, it's whatever. I don't even know what technology it is. It, it doesn't matter. So here are those deadly armors. I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't know what these deadly armors are especially weak against. Um, I probably could have looked it up. Um, and I probably should have after I got into the first fight, because as you can see here, we're only doing like 30, 40 at most with guys, you know, straight up crazy guy attack strength. So I decided to do something crazy with Johnny. Had Johnny use a magic other than healing magic. Dun dun dun. Maybe I should call this episode Johnny the Mage. That would make sense. Oh my goodness. The depths that we have sunk to. I just tell you. Oh, so, let's see. Beaver, doing a great job. Taking the hits for the team. I'm really not liking the randomization of these crazy healing uh, healing moves. They're just not that great. I, I don't get it. I mean, it makes sense, because the whole way that they attack and do stuff is random, but at the same time, it's like, uh, when you try to put that into kind of a, a way of healing, it just doesn't work out at all. So, you know, whatever. Oh, and Beaver escape. Great, great. Well, let's try Gale. Maybe uh, if it wasn't lightning, maybe it's ice. Oh, that one's better. Oh, I took care of that one. And, uh, oh, guy finished up the other one. Awesome. And we got some deadly armor. Keep that deadly armor in mind, because I'm not going to equip it just yet. But uh, I'll show you something um, about it later on, which is kind of weird. Um, it involves going to the church for something other than saving. But we'll worry about that later on. Give myself the phase of shield because I cannot be bothered to give it to anyone else because if anyone is going to live, it is going to be me, damn it. This is my game. Oh, what do we have here? Some dark flies. Ooh, the darkest of the dark. I think that's nearly racist there. But, oh yeah, a whole five damage. Angel damage. Take that. Um, I think the only reason that uh, Peter actually hit is because... Yeah, his attribute is light, and these are dark flies, so obviously their attribute is dark. So, two attributes collide. Bad things happen. Here's a switch. Ladder appeared. And this note is pretty interesting. Fight the blue guardian five times. So, let's keep that in mind as we proceed. Now, which way do I want to go? Is it this way? Is it? No, no way. Is this way? No, that's a snake! Oh! There's always a sneak behind the other door. Bolt attack! Nice! Oh, that... There you go. That's an epic battle right there. Trying to escape? Nah. Angel will take care of it. No problem. Uh, that's definitely a signal that I'm going in the wrong direction. So let's go back to uh, where those warp war points are. And uh, we'll make our way to 
Closer up the tower, getting closer to Gades as he awaits, putting so many stupid enemies in front of us along the way. Jeez, this guy's really just gotta let it go, man. So now we can go into this room over here. Still the fourth floor, but, uh, ooh, we got the snails over here. I think he's, oh, oh, door's locked. Gonna have to fight my way out. Oh, I really hate these rooms, and I don't even remember them so much. Oh, King Frog! King Frog, look at him! He's smoking a pipe! Oh, that's adorable! There is a, there's always a frog boss in these games. Always a frog boss. Always smoking a pipe. Oh, the snail should be smoking, too. Maybe bubbly pipes. That would be hilarious. Actually, maybe that Frog King's pipe was a bubbly pipe. You know, very Sherlock Holmes-ish. The new one's coming out next month, too. That's cool. The first one is really good. I really like that one a lot. Robert Downey Jr. back in top form. It's probably going to steal the show from everyone in that uh, Avengers movie that's coming out next year. But, oh well. I digress. We've got Earth Vipers to kill after all. <laughs> Get at him, Johnny! Yes, 146 damage! Sacred Song! See, that's just a waste of a turn. Oh, could have at least done it to Johnny who really needed it, but no, no. Earth Vipers everywhere. It seems like it should have been a team name in Legends of the Hidden Temple. It would have been Team Earth Vipers. It would have ran around trying to collect pendants. Um, sorry, my European and younger viewers will not know what I'm talking about. Uh, I was actually playing. I was planning on playing the game uh, Guts, which was a Nickelodeon show but way back when in the day, early and mid-90s. Uh, where kids used to compete in an obstacle course, and later on they did an international version of the show where they had kids from different countries compete against one another. And, oh, I, I don't know, I didn't even like that show very much. It was just like, it's not like a children's American Gladiators, but it's just not very interesting of a show for kids to watch. That's all. I mean, kids aren't physical. That's, that was like the peak of me playing video games during those times. I can go out there and climb on these ropes and jump through rubber band jungle mazes or whatever ridiculous crap they had. Uh, maybe I'll play the game for you guys eventually. I was going to, but I had completely forgot how to. It's ridiculous. The kids are doing, like, front flips and they're just all over the place with their crazy acrobatics. Twelve-year-olds, like man. Twelve-year-olds in the 90s. Psh, they had that shit down. <laughs> so anyhow, we found ourselves a miracle. That's good. We can always use a miracle, that's for sure. So that takes care of that little room, and now we can go down this ladder as we get closer, closer to Gates. See, here's one of those little puzzles. They're just, they really become annoying after a while. Like, they're kind of obvious. That one on the left shows that the switch is below it, so move those other switches up, I guess. I mean, wouldn't that make sense? It's just, I don't know. Maybe it was really meant for this to be kind of like... You know, meant for younger kids, because RPGs hadn't really become very popular in the West yet. So, you know, little puzzles for kids to try to figure out. Makes sense. But they're just, oh, there's so many of them. And they're really just more of an annoyance than anything. Especially when you put in these ridiculous buffalo that will charge at you. If they get a straight shot, they will just run at you and they'll say hello. And they'll give you a fruit basket or something. I don't know. They're weird buffalo creatures with different color palettes. Strange stuff. Okay, so this is a really big room. Lots of enemies, but all you need to be worried about is this down here, these guardian statues. So you hit the blue one five times, like that statue said, and then you hit the red one three times. Somewhere in this tower, it says to hit the red one three times. I'm not sure where. I watched another person's walkthrough to figure that out. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Because I could not find where it is in here that it says that. But, alright, we're done, we're past that point, we're moving on! <laughs> um, alright, so, I don't want to be bothered with a deadly armor again. These guys suck. Oh, here's a weird thing. This is the monster races. So, you choose a monster, and you want him to get into that white panel, um, next to the teleporter there. So I'm gonna go with the skeleton, because he teleports around, rather than just moves. And bam, okay, there, he's there. I won. That's it. That's it, and teleports you there. And you go in here, and you hit the switch, which opens up the last area, pretty much. It opens up a corridor, rather. That's just, I don't know, that thing's strange. It can take a long time to do that, though, especially if you don't choose the skeleton. Um, and you can interfere with the other um, racers, I guess. Ah, oh, deadly armor attack! Surprise! I saw you right there, deadly armor! I was not surprised at all. 
Uh, but you can interfere with the other monsters by like, shooting arrows at them and such. Um, and then stand in the same spot and just swipe your sword. So the enemies, your guy will still move around. Um, but as you can see there, if you go with the skeleton, I swear you, you get that. Like, nine times out of ten, you'll win that within ten seconds. So, go figure. Take down this, uh, this red snake here. Use the cloud key! And you win a fabulous prize! No, we're about to fight Gades. We're here, guys. And I'm sorry to say I'm switching out Beaver for SW2KX. I just need the firepower here. So anyhow, um, next time, we have the fight. He beat us the first time, but we're back for revenge. So here we go, everyone. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe if you have not. And I will talk to all of you tomorrow.